Hey guys, so this week we wrapped our kitchen renovation project. Really, this was more of a kitchen facelift because we were looking to do it on a budget. Here are some easy ways to update your kitchen and how we saved along the way. Is it loud? kitchen always felt really dark and there's only one window in the space. So I knew I wanted to brighten it up and decided to go with white cabinets. First was the planning phase. And one of my favorite things to do is look at high end, beautiful inspiration and see what you're gravitating toward. And then you can copy some of those elements on a budget. As we did this space, we thought about our saves and our splurges. We saved thousands of dollars by keeping our existing counters and the same hardware. We decided to keep our existing granite and paint the cabinets. We did decide to hire out the painting of the cabinets because it's such a high traffic zone that was important to us to invest in because we wanted it to last. I'd recommend pricing out at least three contractors and hire someone who will do a factory finish on the doors. And that's where they spray rather than paint so it will stand the test of time. Already it feels so much bigger. I'm so excited. You forget how much dust and all this stuff is everywhere. Oh, oh man. <laughs> it is. There's literally spiders in there. Actual spiders. Oh, look at my elbows. To give it that designer style on a dime, something I noticed in a lot of catalogs were the islands were a different color. And I decided to go with this beautiful green color that matched the valance in the kitchen. I just love how this turned out. When choosing tile, I decided to go with a 12 inch tile. It looks really elegant and it's also beveled. I just love this look along with really thin grout lines. We could save money along the way by shopping sales for the contractors. I found the tile at an amazing deal and that saved a lot of money. Yeah. And you guys may remember my friend, Rebecca Robeson, who is an amazing interior designer. I've been watching her design sessions and one of the things she suggested is to let it flow with your tile. Instead of just tiling below the cabinetry, we took it all the way up the wall so it would look super custom. And I would have never known to do that had I not looked at professional designer tips. Her design sessions are just 10 bucks. I'm gonna link them down below. I'm not being paid to say that. I just really love them. This is like Looking so good. You can already see what a difference it's making it to have the tile go all the way up to the ceiling. What I also love about the kitchen is giving it a wow factor. And what we did was add a barn door instead of our pantry door. I got this off of Wayfair. It was inexpensive. I'll be sure to put a link down below. They're pretty easy to install and this totally elevated the space. Another thing that really made a big difference was decluttering. And something I did was take that open cabinet and put things in there that I absolutely love. And I can't tell you what a difference it made. Something else that we've given ourselves a lot of grace on is also waiting to get the exact right thing. Over time in our house, we've been replacing light fixtures as we find them for a good deal and slowly refreshing to make it exactly what we want. It's definitely a marathon, not a race. video on how I do that on a dime, definitely leave this video a big thumbs up. I would love to share it. Subscribe and hit those notifications because I don't want to miss your face here next time. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So what, this is Saturday, right? The renovation was done on Thursday. Garbage disposal is broken, so. <laughs> Yay, unforeseen costs. Yay. Are you gonna help me clean that out? Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna help clean you out with that. <laughs> you say hi. He's my partner in crime. Hi.